Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Sponge's Tech Tips. Hello, I'm Sponge. Uh, we are here in Woodenville, Washington. It's uh, almost the middle of September. Absolutely beautiful up here. Let's take a look. It's late. Sun's starting to go down a little. You can see the moon out there in the distance. Sun's starting to go down a little earlier now, but it's about uh, 7.30 p.m. Like I said, middle of, uh, middle of September. And what are we doing today? Well, before we get started on that, let me ask you a favor, please. Take a second, hit that subscribe button. Um, you can wait until after this video to hit the like button, but I hope you guys will subscribe, please. Uh, it's free for you and it can only help me. But um, yeah, and then after the video, if this helped you out, which I don't know if it will or not, we'll see. But uh, go leave a comment in the comment section. So, what are we working on? Check this out. This is a Hyundai Nexo. And this is a hydrogen car, which is pretty crazy. I've never seen one of these up here uh, in Washington State. So apparently hydrogen is real popular down in California. Uh, but it hasn't really reached up here yet, and this is the first one uh, that I've seen at least. I'm sure there's a few up here, but I don't even know where you would fill this thing up. But let's take a look. Uh, we've got uh, our build date manufactured in Korea by Hyundai Motor Company. There it is, January of 2019. So this is a 2019 or 2020 Hyundai Nexo. Let's take a look. Yeah, 2019 is this one. And this one, we are having a problem with the sunroof not opening. And being as this is the first one I've ever worked on, um, I had to figure a few things out. Now, I don't know if this car shares uh, the body with another Hyundai. So you might find that this might apply to a Santa Fe or something like that. I'd have to go look. Um, at some other vehicles maybe there's something here that I could take a look at but uh, I'll take a look and then I'll leave uh, some comments in the uh, description if I can figure out if it applies to any other models but uh, I would assume it's like 2019 2020 2021 Hyundai Nexo now I am NOT going to be doing the fix of the sunroof but what I am going to do is give you guys the tech tip on how to access the plug so let me show you what we got going here so our sunroof control is up here above us let's turn this on and just to show you that we are getting no operation out of this so uh, i did check the fuse and the fuse is good everything else up here seems to be working yep um there's some other stuff up here. There we go. But uh, we're not getting it. So I, I was just trying to access this to check the switch and see if there was a bad contact or a damaged uh, wire or something like that. But uh, right, right from the start, I had trouble figuring out how to get this entire unit off. Uh, let's talk about the tools you're going to need. Where did my, where did my little blue? Oh, here it is. So you are going to need the old trusty tiny pan head. Some of you guys call them flat heads, but it's actually a pan head and you need the smallest one. You need that thing fine. Take a look at the tip on that thing and you need it clean. You're going to need a plastic panel popper, something clean. Mine's not very clean. And then a Phillips head screwdriver. Okay. First thing you have to do, and I've already kind of moved ahead just so you guys could see. You see, I've, I've separated it here, but I want to show you. It was really hard to see. If you, from the clear plastic to this black trim, there's a small area right above my finger. Let's see how close we can get. And you can see just a little insert there. And that's what you need your little pan head for, okay? So what you're going, going to want to do is you're going to want to slide that into that little pocket and you're going to pop it back and it is it's tight I honestly don't remember working on one this tight okay so you're gonna have to feed it in there and then pop it against the plastic now I've already gotten mine off uh, so once you get one side off by doing that 
you want to take your fingers. I like to use my fingers and you want to start popping this thing back. Well, it came off too easy. And you can see there's that little tab. Let's see, there it is, right there. Now the other thing is the front tabs on this, they're little hooks. You can see them right there. See those little hooks? There's four of them across the front and they go into these. So once you pull this down, you gotta pop it forward. Don't pull, don't pry from the front. If you pry from the front, you're gonna bake those tabs. So you wanna pry from the back and then angle it down until that pops off, okay? Set that aside so you don't lose it. That is going to access two Phillips head screws, which go here, one on each side, one, and let's see if we can do it without blinding ourselves. Two, there it is. Now I've already pulled those out. Uh, they are, let's see if I can, they are little plastic threading screws, so they have these little barbs on them. Uh, my screwdriver, my Phillips head, when I backed them out, it wouldn't come out all the way. It, it just kept biting into it. So once you get them out most of the way, you're going to reach up there with your fingers and pull them out. Be careful not to drop them. Uh, and there's two of them right there. Okay. Next thing you're going to do, let's turn these lights off. There we go. Now you're going to use your panel popper. Okay. Your plastic trim piece. And what you want to do is you want to go to the front. Okay. There's two tabs at the back that you'll see once we pull it down, but they overhang this way, okay? So if you pry from the front, actually, no, I'm sorry. If you pry from the back of it, sunroof side, sunroof opening side, you're gonna break those tabs. You're gonna wanna pop them, pop the entire thing from the front, okay? So you're gonna put your panel popper and you're gonna start prying this down, okay? And there are two compression. So you'll see, I just pop, pop that down a little bit. Okay, you can see right here, they, it likes to fold up underneath. It's a little metal clip right there. Okay, and then here are those front tabs. This is why you can't pull from the front. You gotta pull from the back, or I'm sorry, not from the front. I keep getting it backwards because it's, the windshield side is what you wanna pull from. Do not pull from the sunroof side because if you do, you're gonna break these tabs off. Once you get that off, that gives you access to your switches. And it looks like there's uh, four or five plugs up here. One, two, three, four, five plugs. And those are pretty simple. There's just a little push down and they unplug. And just reach your hand up there, do one at a time. These are obviously assembled by little tiny hands. There, there. There, and let's see if I can get the last one without dropping the whole thing off. There we go. There you go. So you've got five plugs. One, two, and three, four, and then five. And that's gonna give you access to this whole thing. Uh, I don't know why you, I mean, unless you're doing the same thing I'm doing, you might wanna, you might need to replace some bulbs or do some maintenance on this, but that's how it comes down. There's nothing really else up there. There is no access to the sunroof motor there. So the sunroof motor is probably gonna be in the back on this one, and that's a bummer. That's very disappointing because uh, I may have to access it if it turns out to not be this switch. My hope is, is it's this switch. So I am gonna be taking this apart and doing a little bit of uh, investigating to see if we have some bad contacts there. So, so that's it, guys. That's how you access that. Uh, again, I don't know how popular these things are. Um, so who knows how many people are even gonna need to see this. But uh, I can't be the only one having a problem like this. So, uh, and this thing's fairly new. This car only has like a thousand or fifteen hundred miles on it. So I, I don't. It, it must be some sort of a factory um, flaw of some sort. I, I would imagine, because uh, other than that, this car looks brand new. The miles are brand new. So uh, 
So who knows? We're going to figure it out, and uh, if I figure it out, uh, I might do another video on it, letting you know how it is. But in this particular case, just helping you get that panel down is a good way to help you out uh, to get at that for other reasons. So, all right, guys, that's it. Uh, for this one, do me a favor, hit that uh, like and subscribe button if this helped you out. And uh, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment sections, and I will catch you on that next one. All right, guys, thanks, bye.